Do you want bonus audio? If we all work together, we can rob the whole of Neverwinter blind. What do you need? I need a sphere show. Knowing me, knowing crew. Arr. James is going to punish me unless I ditch this item. <laughs> I'm going to Hogwarts. Harriet timidly replied. Can I still hear the sound of children? Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, God. oh, my God. A cockwomble at play. Well, join the Royal Britannia Patreon. Available now. This podcast is part of the Sports Social Podcast Network. Previously on Roll Britannia. I've got a safe house the magic box in the city. We shouldn't linger here. Hear ye, hear ye, citizens of the Royal City, city. shall sure. bear the name Galea. God save the Queen! Can I... Guys, he's so... Oh, ideal. So we've got Harriet Potter, <laughs> Barry Trotter, and two Ninja Turtles. Yeah, yes. let's go to the magic box, shall we? There it is. There's thieves around here. Hello. Hello. We're come closed. To... I've come to see Zamfire Toscob. Just wait there. Malrus? Sort of. Aren't you in prison? No. <laughs> and it's Milo. We now inhabit the same body. Gross. I'm very confused. Have you heard anything about Toscob Estate? Royal Guard. Been using it to develop some tool. Since you're here, you should probably have this. It's sort of his diary. Who's Alatar? He taught me magic. This society, did they call themselves something? The circle. All of a sudden, every single one of you is in Gold with a purple light. Just hope that that did not extend beyond this room. If the uh, guards saw that, we are in for some real trouble. I was told to give you this box. Inside a small scroll and four hessian wrapped bottles. Oh, oh, oh. The scroll says Via VV Regis. This is the way in. Underground. It seems to say Root of the Living King on it. What are you going to do with your bottles then, Milo? Pass them out. Derek, your potion <laughs> gives you a second inspiration <gasps> slot. Jeffrey, you feel strong. Yes. You feel yourself growing. Milo, you level up. Were there any of those for me? Oh. Oh. Well, it sounds like the circle He's is the route to the Living King. I did spot on the way in that there is thieves hideout around here. There's direction. They might give us some more information. Do you want to come with us? No. Well, we are all wanted criminals. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. So you step outside. You look around. While you don't see any thieves, cats, you do see a single figure, almost silhouetted against a streetlight. Roll initiative. All caught up? Good. Let's get back to the action. Last time we played, um, there was some terror. Mm. Mild terror? Or big terror? Um, suggestive themes? Mm. Oh, we have the sounds. Yeah. Well, I, put, I put these on, and so I'm like, this is serious now. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's only... No, no. Oh, it's so it's only, do this. Yeah, well, that's yeah, when it's serious. Okay. That's when yeah, you know it is really serious. To Incoming be fair. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. That's when you know, like, oh, shit's about to go down. <laughs> Yeah, we, we done fucked up here. Yeah, yeah. Um, roll initiative. Oh yes, gonna <laughs> one chip. Actually, no. Sorry, Tom. Hello. Which, di- which dice should I use? <laughs> Just in case his voice carries the curse. Uh, that, the uh, dragon uh, one, the Derek one. I'll go with the Derek one. Go with Derek. I think, I'm gonna go with these. One of these. <gasps> one of these. Yeah. Z ain't bad. I know you'll smash me on the initiative. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I get to add one to mine. I do, I get to do add one. Yeah. boy. Nice. Yep. Ooh. Okay. I sound. Right. I think it's the lasagna still in my throat, but I sound. <sighs> Late night so, radio. Can I have some oh, uh, action orders then, please? Uh, we'll yes. Yeah. Does everybody else want to go first? And 15. Go, 18. Whoa now. Right, yeah. hold on. <laughs> you wanted all yeah, the information. You wanted me to be loud. I did, yeah, but I didn't want you to shout in me here. So, um... I'm over here. Hmm. Hmm. Jeff. Come and get me. Uh, Malarus. Derek. And Keth. Right, you got, you got a what? Malarus, Milo? 18. Mm, that's okay. pretty cool. Jeffois? 15. Oh, you did well. Yep. You did very that is well. good. Yeah, yeah. With that? 
Oh, nice. With your plus one. It would have been a 14. Right? I think that's absolutely to my dice. You're right? not wearing the pink really slow-mo, right? No, no that's yeah, on the Valkyrie. Oh, shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe. Uh, and Kev? 27. 27? Okay. Roll 19. That is fucking high. That is very good. What's sure. the 30-something that you've got? I roll the 13. <laughs> yep. I have a 30. <laughs> 30? Oh, he yeah. stumbles it. Yeah, we go. Right. <laughs> Nearly had you. Plus okay. 17. <laughs> I've got a feeble plus 8. <laughs> And I cannot be surprised while well, I'm conscious. So who have we got there? Hold, hold on. Hold on. I've got to put things in order. Don't rush me, no. sir. I've got things to do. <laughs> things to arrange. I've got to put people in the right order people and then all see. the other things. Uh, so we've got Derek at the top, obviously. Yes. And then it is uh, me? rather lovely. God, this I is think. the first combat we've Big done this recording. Rittering. Yeah. It is. Uh, plus, God, I, combat I got hit by a door. So then we got. Ah, oh, you did. One of those. Doesn't second necessarily combat. count. <laughs> second combat. Second combat. The door. I'll get that door next time. Let's hope you Tricky do it. Door. Better. Damn and door. Then <laughs> Sixteen. Get you one next of time. those next. <laughs> Should just kick it. Then rusty. One of those. And then that one. No, that one, eh? And then the Jeff. Uh, no, actually, Jeff comes before that. There we go. I'm just used to Jeff being last. There we go. This is lovely to be not to be in the last place. Um, yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm absolutely certain it is. So, uh, we're going to start with some... Uh, I'm trying to note some numbers down here. Good. Crack it in there. Okay. We've got some numbers written down. Okay, cool. It's all going to be good. Okay. Um, it's not terrifying at all. I do need, however, to find something a little more interesting to really give you the, the <laughs> feel. <laughs> a sexy party. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um, where are we? <laughs> it's, it's a possibility, Paul. It's Ori-o. a possibility. I'm going to melt you. Derek, in front of you, yeah. you see a single figure mm. holding a sword. Hello, darling. <laughs> oh. And he looks at you and he says, Derek, no beard. Who's asking? You're coming with me. What do you do? <sighs> I suppose you've seen the wanted posters. <laughs> um, Let's try that one. Oh. Have we slipped into an 80s porn? <laughs> Apparently so. He starts <laughs> unbuttoning his shirt <laughs> to start fucking. <laughs> yeah. I'm I will sure. be cutting. I'm not sure that's weird. weird. Yeah. I'm not sure that's what they think it is. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. Definitely made less scary. <laughs> there we go. Let's try this one. Tonight, Whoa, no, our first contestant there. was finding that they actually got four questions <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Unfortunately, they didn't bank any money. Either. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to go, tonight, I fall down a hill. <laughs> <laughs> James crashes slowly. <laughs> and Richard's in the hospital. <laughs> Paul wears some glasses. <laughs> there we go. And a star in our reasonably priced car. <laughs> Alex fiddles with some tape. <laughs> Derek? Yeah. Who what are do you? I? Do? I'm going to ask him again. Who, who are you? Why should I come with you? It's the Royal Guard. You're coming with me. Just one. <laughs> Royal Guard singular. Okay. Yeah. What? Well... What do you expect to do with that sword? <laughs> and as you say that, two more figures step out from exactly behind his silhouette. See, see I, I, knew that was I was the only one properly in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and yet yeah. you failed when you wanted to disguise yourself. <laughs> when did we I fail to disguise yet. myself? Yeah, it's true. When did I fail to disguise? They're in, they're in great disguises. They're disguised as turtles. Mm. And I'm. I was as a Barry Trotter. Yeah, he is. Captain Moustache. This is yeah. Donald. I was in a Captain Moustache with a different voice. <laughs> Leonard. Yeah, I thought you had, your, you had your gentleman's flat cap and a moustache yeah, on. Yeah. yeah. 
Imagine didn't, if didn't anyone, oh, anyone could grow a moustache. Well, not Derek Noble beard. He can't. All right, you can act. He can't grow a moustache. Right. Here's, here's How what's going to you happen. Know it's me? You can act now and take your turn, or someone's going first. I'm just. I'm just. Cool. Crashing. Okay. This roll. Is, <laughs> this is. This is a free action. Um, okay. There's three royal guard in front of me. Yeah, there are. Uh, yeah, probably not actually. Um, I would like to uh, fire at one of them twice with okay. my arcane pistol. Cool. Please. Roll to hit. Thank which you. One are you. Which one are you going for? The one that said you're coming with me. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, does a 13 hit? No, it does not. Uh, Pew! That's one miss. Does a... That's better. 22. 22 does How's hit. How's that? Cool. Yeah. Uh, does that then raise it by one? No, it's a... Seven. If you miss with the arc. Uh, it depends what that one is. Some of them it's if you miss, and some of them it's you critical miss. Uh, that's 10 points of fire damage. 10 points of fire damage. Okay, can you check Sorry, your... Sorry, that's 10 points... That's... Uh, three points of fire damage, seven points of normal damage. That's fine. Um... I can't uh, do that, man. Sorry yeah. to get all power legal. No, no, please check. Which is to- for a total of 10 points. Uh, oh, just 10. Right. Arcane Pistol. I can do 10. Why can't I, why can I, why was I Risky one. Yeah, I don't know what the... Yeah, we'll come back to it. Yeah, um, well is that all your whole turn, or have you got something else to do? Uh, I'm going to drop back behind the pack. Thank you. Okay. You really did. I wow, you, you motored back there. Uh, uh, Keth, you're up next. It just okay. says Risky one. It doesn't cool. say anything. So, what Keth is going to do... There's three in front of you, and Derek has just shot one of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But not dead. <laughs> oh, no. Not dead at all. No. Okay, so Keth's going to draw his two arcane pistols. Uh-huh. Um, and then he's going to take one shot at the aforementioned guard. And the one that's just been shot. Yeah, roll to mm-hmm. him. Okay. Does an eight hit? No, it does not. Uh, eight plus fifteen does that? Hit. <laughs> uh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Excellent. Right, we, we've got a long way to go here. Let's do this okay, faster. <laughs> cool. So that is two, three points of piercing damage. Yep. And two points of fire damage. Yep. And he drops dead. <laughs> and using crossbow expert, I get to fire the other one with all mm-hmm. my hearts. Uh, yeah, that hits because I rolled fourteen. Yeah, yeah. That is seven, eight points of piercing damage, Mm -hmm. and three points of fire damage Mm -hmm. for the same guard. Cool. Um, And what I'm going to do is use my new favoured foe. Do it. And it's not a spell. No, 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 it's fine. It's your thing you can do. So it's that first guard Mm -hmm. I get to add. He's now your favoured foe. Yeah, for the next minute. I get to add an extra three points of piercing damage. Perfect. Excellent news. Uh, and then... I think Bernard sold me out. Maybe. And then... How's the guard looking? Tom, I will tell you when he's even close to being bloodied. <laughs> I'm just excited. No. <laughs> it's a long way to go. I've just said that, and there's three of them, so crack on. Uh, that is all of my actions used so far, unless it really... Yep. Is that evolves. everything? And then I'm going to move 15 feet to the left okay. to maybe draw okay. some fire away from my slightly more vulnerable uh, colleagues. Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, there you go. Fine. Left. Uh, okay, next up, uh, that one's going to fire back. So, uh, it's... Well, I say he's going to fire back. Uh, what he's going to do is charge you the fuck down. Ooh, charge okay. Keth down. Yeah, because mm. you just did a butt ton of damage to him. Um, far more than Derek did. Yeah, I just... Just a warning. Just a tickle me. from Derek. <laughs> Not enough to hurt, just enough to make you think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to run at you, uh, drawing his katana as he goes, uh, yelling on, and screaming, and <sighs> he is going to roll a 32 to hit. The what now? Yes. The, okay. <laughs> need some details. Can I shock you? Uh, I'm not even asking if that hits, because it does. <laughs> yes. And that is... That's creepy. Um, uh, that is 15 uh, slashes, please. Am I resistant? Yeah. To... Yeah. 
Resistance oh, you means, are, aren't yeah, you? Are, aren't you? Now, immune. no, resistance no. means half damage. Half damage. Now, Eight. I believe your resistance is for non-magical damage. Yes. Yes. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're going to be taking fifteen slashing damage, my man. <laughs> so they're using magical stuff, but they're royal yeah. god. Maybe they're not royal. What do they? What do their uniforms look like? Would yes. you like me to describe one? Yes, to you? Yeah, but we yes, forgot. Please. We got all excited. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the lion caller. Let me uh, just extract image of one. Well, if they're using magic, well, well, they are, you know, licensed. Possibly. My, uh, I mean, your human. argument could very much be the police can use guns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what is the police just but just another gang? Well, technically, mm-hmm. other people can use guns, just not legally. <laughs> <But> yes. <laughs> In very much the same, you can use magic, just not <laughs> legally. <Yeah. laughs> uh, mm-hmm. All right, then. Let me just... Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted. Uh, do all three look the same? No. Mm. No, they do not. One's on casual Friday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One's jeans for jeans day, so he's double denim. <laughs> One's in a toe. Oh, Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in Canada, it's true. Yeah. Look down at your clothing and tell us what I. <laughs> I'm sorry, Canada. He's he's cancelled now. <laughs> well, I keep the tuxedo. <laughs> Here is, there we go. Bear with me one second while I extract the image of this individual. Uh, I've been looking forward to this. Thirty-two to hit. Those, eh? Yes, he did roll a thirty-two to hit, and that might that's not going to be the end of his actions. Ah, oh, here he is, look. Oh, look. Oh. Uh, for the ladies and gentlemen. I'm dashing. Uh, it's a, uh, he's a humanoid figure wearing the uh, the the typical um, sort of white and silver mm. breastplate of the Royal Guard with the red and white sleeves. Um, You're all suspicious now, aren't you? And a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, metallic armour, mm. but with uh, a black pauldron and a wolf's head pauldron one on each shoulder, and a, a black cowl draped around with a uh, sort of black sash around their waist. They wear across their face a black mask, obscuring their identity from you. And they mm. bear in their hands a... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a, uh, a... A katana that somehow glows with black. A dark emitting saber, if you will. Mm. Yes, you may go to the toilet. I forgot to roll this tip a bell. He goes after you. But Always? Y- yes. Yeah. He he does now. Okay, cool. We've decided. Excellent. We had this discussion and we agreed yeah. this without you. Because cool. it's too compl- too com- complicated because you always forget to roll for him. And yes. unfortunately, he's missed his turn. Damn. Come on, Bill, wake up. Oh, dear. Christ. Not that it would um, so much. now he's going to take his second attack. <laughs> damn. God damn. There's three of these. They're all the same. Uh, uh, yes. Well, no, they're not all the same. Yeah. But, but as in, like, right. they're all of equivalent to each other. And mm. that will be a 30 to hit. And Mother. He takes Mother. another swipe at you. And uh, that'll be another 16 slashing. Slashing? Yes. Yes. It's magical slashing. It's, it's magical. Yes, slashing. it's still yeah. ma- it's the same sword. Uh the other I two are they in the check. same uniform? Uh one uh, of them is. One of them is, okay. That's 31. Yeah, it is. And uh, now it's gonna take his third attack. What the f- uh, but the good news is he critically fails. However. Don't like this guy. Don't like this guy at all. I believe. Either we pull the mask off him. Or we just uh, he's gonna expend a point of lucky and roll that again. Lucky? Yeah. She's a halfling, Trace, isn't it? Uh, it's a feature. Uh, oh. Yeah. And rolls uh, a mere 18. <sighs> you. Yes. Yes, that hits, doesn't it? Just. And does... He rolled lowly. Uh, only 14 slashing damage this time. With a different weapon? No, same weapon. God damn. That's not gone well. That stings. That's now stung the Keth. 
Um, and he's also going to uh, do what? something. He's going to do something. He's going to make a sort of, um, you know, like a like a kata would be in uh, in sort of a karate pose. He's going to do a sort of flourish. that okay. does something you don't know what. Mm. Just in front of me, like a small dance. Yes. <laughs> Stop showing off. Um, I haven't even seen any identification. I don't think they're in a talking mood, lads. What's your badge number? Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! And that's the end of that guy's turn. Next up is one of the other figures who stood there. And this figure uh, doesn't appear to have a sword. This figure uh, steps out of the shadows and you see a hooded figure wearing a sort of white robe. Oh, no. I think we probably just run. <laughs> run and hide. <clears throat> and this figure uh, sort of looks at you, Derek. Hello, it's me from the Wanted Post. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and... Don't tell him your name, Pike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Don't like these guys at all. Yeah, they are sledgehammers. Yeah. Big yeah. time. And get with me. Why do you keep pointing <laughs> and looking up? You know you can you can talk, Paul. It's a podcast. <laughs> keep What's a lot, your suspicion? A lot of silent accusation. Yeah. He doesn't want to give anything away to him. It is on camera. Well, it's not about giving anything away to him because he already knows what's happening. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's kind of got the control of this. Yeah. <laughs> what's your thing, Paul? What's happened? Fucking Jeff in it. What is Jeff? What's Jeff? Is it? We'll wait and see. Uh, well, Jeff over and uh, he uh, oh, he yeah. turns to look you square in the eyes from across this space. Pulls out a small knife mm -hmm. and drags it across his forearm because he's performing a blood sacrifice. Hmm. As a column of blood drifts out of his arm, in floating into space, forms wow. an arcane rune in the air. Gross. And vanishes. That's that's gross. We might have bitten off more than we can chew here. Yeah, we need to leave. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Why not? Hey. Excuse me. It's one of those things where you prepared a character sheet and it disappeared. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now I've, uh, there's bits that I still need to bloody sort. Bear with me. One second. No, For a no, town that doesn't like magic, there, there seems right. to be a lot of magic. Yeah, but only the guards. Hmm. It's how they keep the rest of us working classes oppressed. Cool. I've um, got some literature I can show you. <laughs> I'm not going to go wild with this. I'm going to keep it fairly simple. Derek. Yeah. Um, that is a... I need to roll a d20 for that one. It's going to be this dragon one. And that is a 20... A 21 to hit. Yep, that obviously yep. hit. And I need a d10 for... Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, that'll be as he points at you and a bolt of uh, energy blasts out mm -hmm. and strikes you and does a 19 hit Yep. and does a oh, 30 hit and natural 20 so that'll be a crit and does a uh, 13 hit 13 no 13 no okay so we've got one one more normal and a crit Okay. Uncanny dodge on the crit to half it back to normal. That's fine, okay. So we need to do um, that one. So that's eight more damages and another 12 more damages. Um, as you're struck again and again by these bolts of magic. Three strikes? Three. Uh, which, yep. for a total of 20? or what was uh, the No, that one? was uh, 11, uh, 11, 8, and 12. Cool. Right. Yeah, 31. Um, Damn, that was a big hit. <laughs> plus. Oh, incoming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's uh, one, the two, three, and one. Six necrotic damage. Plus six necrotic damage. Yep. Oh, ah, 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 ah. I have... Oh, no, it's psychic damage. Not it's necrotic. psychic, yeah. Fuck. I retract my... Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Say it backwards. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> to pilot. Mm. Uh, okay, so six necrotic damage. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. 
and a faint purple glow starts to emit from around this figure. Next up is Milo. Oh, good. Um, one with mask and sword. Which one? Next the to the first him. one. The first one, yeah. The one next um, to Keth. The one, in, the one within five feet of Keth. So yeah, two with masks and swords. Yep. And then there's the hooded one yep. that just did the blood sacrifice. Yeah. Cool. Um, can I create Biz, Bigsby's hand? Ooh. I'm assuming you can, yes. Ooh. And I'm cast, wait, cool. cast Bigsby's big, I can't even say it. Bigsby's hand. That one. Yep. <laughs> Um, I got you. I'm going to use... If anybody still uses a Bixby at home. <laughs> I use Bixby to answer the phone. Ah. Clench he the does. fist. He showed me. It's very impressive. Clen- okay, you're going to clench the fist. Um, so the hand strikes one creature or object within five feet of it. Make a melee spell attack for the hand using the game's statistics. On a hit, the target takes 4d8 force damage. 4d8, you say? Okay, well, roll to hit then, I guess. Ooh. Oh god. Got everywhere. Seventeen plus eight. <laughs> Seventeen plus eight, you say? Yeah, it's twenty-five. Mm. Um Okay. I think that's alright. Uh, I think that I think that's gonna hit, yeah. What? I'm glad it went on the floor. Yeah, yeah. So what was so I don't know what their AC is, but I think it got at least a plus twelve. Most a plus twelve to hit. Where are my D8s gone? Just need to work out what these are. Are you ready? Accounting? Mm-hmm. <laughs> a five? Yep. A two? A three? And a one? Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Ah, the old disappearing character sheet. No, I just don't know how this feature works, so I've got to try and work it out on the fly very quickly. <laughs> okay. Hope we get it wrong. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'll be wrong when you'll survive. Bye. Oh, right. Okay. okay. Uh, sorry, what was your... 11. 11? Okay. I need a D4. Oh. Here you go. Oh, I've got one. Two. One. Uh, reduce that by three. As I parry it. Cool. I somehow parry a hand with a sword. <laughs> the wand of bigger fish. Mm. Um... Keth's now the biggest thing. He is the biggest thing mm. there. You just create a bigger, a bigger Keth. Keth. No, no, no. Is in, is in. It would attack him first. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sadly, like, it would. Large version of your nearest hostile creature. It's not allied to you and prioritizes attacks from largest to smallest. It certainly does. Mm. Damn. <laughs> uh, Milo, anything else for you? Bonus actions. Uh, I'm just gonna move a little bit. Move. A little bit back <laughs> towards the Okay, shop. you just... You, are you shimmying? <laughs> Shimmy back He's towards jiving. the shop. He's <laughs> jiving. He does the hand jive. You're going towards the shop. You're going back towards yeah. the shop. Yeah. Cool. Just edge back. Okay, the shop. cool. Uh, Jeff? Uh, I would like to cast Scatter. Would you? Yes, please. All right, then. Um, mm-hmm. And I'd like to cast it... Counterspell! <laughs> using Edward Teach's ring. Counterspell! <laughs> uh, I would like to... Casting it up. That was well. It's level. It's using Edward Teach's ring. Um, I would then use. Like, You're not going anywhere. I'd like to use then my meta magic of quicken spell to then cast scatter. Um, counter spell. You got two counter spells. Yeah, I do. He's probably got a couple more. So oh yeah, I do. <laughs> keep using them up, and then I can use my counter spells on him. Because he can't. <laughs> uh, well, that would be my go. I I just get counter twice. I've got, I've got some spell slots. <laughs> I will remove the edge of teacher's ring to suggest it's been utilised today. All right, then. And I, that is my two... Where's my go? I will then... Uh, assuming that I'm not in direct... Uh, what level were you using to cast the second one? Uh, six. Oh, we need to roll, don't we? Yeah. Six, because counterspell automatically happens if it's level th- a third level spell slot or lower. Um, oh, you're using cast- level six. We need to roll. A spell of fourth level or higher, you need to make an ability check using your spell casting ability. James does. Yep. The DC equals 10 plus the spell's <coughs> level, which is probably. Yeah. 16. But, James, when you cast this spell using a spell slot of fourth level or higher, the interrupted spell has no effect if its level is less than or equal to the level of the spell slot you used. Ooh. So if you use higher than a six or, or a six, it'll automatically succeed. Well, one of them is a six. So, I'll roll for the other one. Uh, so the first one would have been cast technically using a level one spell slot. 
but it would have been a level six spell. It's a level six spell. Yeah, but it, the spell slot it used. Yeah, it's, that's fine. Okay. But it's still a level six spell. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> too, fair. So yeah. sixteen is the DC. For that. Thus ordains the rules, lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was wondering what the hell that noise was then. It was my <laughs> lawyer's gavel, as all lawyers have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. uh, what do I think? Spell casting modifier. That is. Help me out here, lawyers. Uh, hold the phone. It's. I don't think it involves your spell casting modifier. It's DC equals ten plus the spell's level. So his spell's level, ten plus sixteen. Oh. So you just. Oh right, in that case, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. worked. Work. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Sorry. Uh, then the good news is uh, I've only got one more of those. Oh, uh, totally. <laughs> I think. Could... Am I? Not, uh, am I in um, melee range? No. Then I would like to move. Um, <laughs> Where? Thirty feet away from the direction of the people. Okay. <clears> you <throat> have one option for that, which is uh, as you were facing. If you were facing the shop, it would be down the road to the left. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, you're going to go 30 feet that way. Yeah. Cool? Yeah. <laughs> Get out of Dodge. <laughs> this glass cannon cannot take a hit. Like cool. These boys have been taken. Mm. Mm, true. I, I, true. I tried. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> is but it within... F- he's one got one left. Five yeah. Feet of Keth, right? yeah, one of them is within five feet of Keth. Cool. Your plan is some sneak attack damage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Perhaps, or perhaps a different thing. Ooh. Mm-hmm. How I'd really like everybody to get out of the way if that's entirely possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, my speed. Okay. I've done that. I can't move anymore. Your turn's coming up. I will. Uh, I did back up my movement, I... which is twenty-five feet. Okay. Um, in which case, this next one that's going to go only really has one target they can get to. Sorry, Keth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goddamn, Sauls. Uh, this is going to be painful for you. <clears throat> I'll be honest. Hopefully, it hurts his mate as well because he's within five feet. Um. No. Because mm. uh, he's also going to run up to you drawing a katana. Excellent. Yeah. Maybe trips. Yeah. Does the katana look familiar to any of us? Uh, no. Okay. Well, I mean, it looks like the other one. It looks like... Does it look like the one that Jeff had? No. Does the mask look the same? No. Okay. Just a simple black mask. Okay. And the first attack... That'll be a 24. You know what that is. Yep. Um, <laughs> 31. Ooh. That hits. Oh. Oh, 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 was that damage? No, to hit. Oh. I'm just doing them all. Can you do polymorph? Uh, 18. Ugh, Can just you do polymorph? And 22. They all hit. Yeah. Uh, so now I need to roll That's some D6s. Can you do polymorph? Yeah. On more so than one four person. of these. No. That's only mass polymorph. Uh, 13. <clears throat> 17. 14. And only 11. If they're taller than Jeff, uh, you could polymorph Keth and then I could use the one for bigger fish. Welcome back, and just in time too, I'm pretty sure that Pedro is going to try and wade in on one of the chaos that follows those four around, and I don't think, well, any of us can handle that. So, make yourselves comfy and set down your gear, get ready for your moment with the Dungeon Master. It's absolutely brilliant having you here in the Crow's Nest with us once again. I'm delighted that you decided to jump into the maritime mayhem that is Roll Britannia. Without you and your fantastic support, we'd have been scuttled and sent to the briny depths long ago. So, when I was here in the Roll Britannia crew, thank you so much for being here. Pedro! Where are you, you rascal? Hello! Oh, there you are. Uh, any leads on the uh, biscuit thief? Eh? This investigation has been going for quite a while now, boy. <laughs> You think Jeff's involved, really? You saw him near the biscuit tin. Interesting. I'm detecting a trend here, Pedro. Yes, a pattern. You spot people near the biscuit stash, you tell me about it, and then no criminals are actually caught. Yes, I do want you to do something about it. Yes, well, administer justice, Pedro. But after giving me that shout-out, scroll. Thank you. Now, go. Use the full 
feathery weight of the law. Yes. <laughs> you can catch a cold, let alone a biscuit burglar. Now, this week's shout out goes to Byron Springer, who sent a fantastic message on Facebook. Thank you so much for getting in touch and for the fantastic suggestion. Great work. And sorry for not saying message like a human. If you want a shout out just like Byron, it's easy. Well, it's as easy as Malrus looting the corpse for snacks. Yeah. Gross. Oh. Oh. Well, you don't have to do anything quite nearly as grisly as that. You just need to search for us on the seven seas of social media Instagram, X, Facebook, Instagram, Blue Skies, Mastodon. We're everywhere. Yeah, which makes it even easier for you to find us. And don't forget about our lively Discord server too. But a simple like on a post won't cut it. You're going to need to get creative if you want, uh, you know. A shout out. So, post a photo uh, with your latest splurge from the Robert and Merch store, or send us an idea for an NPC, or just cruise in for a cosy chat. We don't mind, just as long as you get involved. Now, if you're enjoying the show and you want to do something really, really special for us, then why not leave us a five star review? Wherever you choose to listen to our nautical nonsense, spit out Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Podrama, Podchaser, it matters not. Even good pods. Yeah, yeah. It's as easy as, well, Catching a cold, I guess. <laughs> there really will be a very, very easy place, very nearby, where you can leave that all-important review. We read and appreciate every single one of them, and they really help our podcast to grow and let even more fantastic people just like you to discover the show. Now, if you simply can't wait for the latest episode of Roll Britannia every week, then why not become a Roll Britannia patron? Memberships start from as little as £2 a month, and you could be getting your paws on a huge pile of exclusive Arrow Britannia content. There's absolutely loads of content, hours of audio, bonus access to things. Uh, you get access to the wizard's sleeve in Discord as well, and you get access to, uh, well, just a bit more of the crew. There's loads of tiers to choose from, and there's hours and hours of amazing bonus booty. Every doubloon we receive goes straight into making Arrow Britannia even bigger and better. So, to find out more about it and to sign up to our Patreon to support the show, visit patreon.com forward slash Roll Britannia. That's patreon.com forward slash Roll Britannia. Wait, what, what's that on the horizon? It looks like some ships. It's a fleet of sponsorships! Wait, before you head back, make sure you've hit that subscribe button and then you won't miss out on the latest episodes and you won't have to polish the poop deck. Gross. Well, that's all from me for this week. Pedro's got a biscuit thief to catch, hopefully, eventually. And you've got an adventure to get back into, so go on, get back in there. Go! I mean, yes, you could do that. Well, the music stopped. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Oh, the music's back on. Oh, no. no, it's back on. Um, it's also going to. Oh, God, I'm sorry about this, but. Um, Is that last one 14? It's 55 currently. Yeah. It's going to action surge and do it again. Holy crap. Yeah, we need to go. Yeah, we can't. I, 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 he tried. 13, yeah. 17, and 11. Yep. Uh, 13, four, uh, 17, 14, and 11. There's been another, there was a 13 as well. It was oh, 17, 13, 17 yeah. 13, 14, 11. It's, it, you, you're on 55 at the moment. Oh, good gone. news. This one was only a 15. So that's, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Misses. Yeah, good. That's just seven. Do you remember that plan oh. that you had, Jeff? Uh, 16. Miss. Goodness, Rob. Yeah. That could be poorly lit. You must have gone really low because I'm looking at yours. Is I just tried twice. Yes. That's what I just did. 28. That hits. And unnatural thing. That hits. Fuck yeah, it now. So, so that'll be two, two misses. And two, two misses hits. and two hits. Okay. Are you going to count the spell? His. No. no. Scatter plan. No one's actually uh, cast a. 18. You haven't actually cast any spells okay. on me yet. No, no. Hit I'm just hitting with, you with a sword. Just hit me with a. Yep. Huh? That's 18 damage and 13 yeah. slashing damage as well. All but magical sword, isn't it? Yes. So no resistances. Yep. And um, what's that accounting? Happy. I've got a 13, a 17, a 14, an 11, yep. an 18, and a 13. It's 86 Jesus is by Christ. my calculations. Yep. And I believe there's still time. that's one person. And I believe there's still another person to go. No, that's 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 basically the end of the round. Oh, okay. Um, apart just from, checking there's nothing else apart from Milo apart from Milo yeah. Milo's been yeah I've been. what did he do he hit him with a hand yeah, oh big, shit yeah he, he did, did and then I mean he had some big spells yeah. but he hit him with a hand instead yeah Kef is on his knees well I was gonna do how much what's it dirty boy uh, well he uh, 
At the start of this round, he had 142 hit points. Mm -hmm. Yep. And now he has 11. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, that's... that's yeah, it's, I have been God. battered. Oh. Keth is staggering Yeah, on he's his been knees. slashed a lot. Yeah, I've taken one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sword slashes yep. with very little reply. I yep. had uh, two, How two gunshots from me. Yeah. Am I to Keth? Keth can barely see because the blood's dripping in his eyes. Yeah, and in, <laughs> Keth is very bloodied. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. Keth. Very, very much bloodied. Mm hmm. Um, you are, I mean, Keth moved like 15 feet. Yeah, I moved 15 feet to the left of the. We, we came so out of the door. You're within 15 feet of him, okay. basically. Um, yeah, it's Derek. It's it's your turn, mate. I'm going to use uh, my ability called Panache, and yep. I'm going to Panache. the one that's currently hitting Kev. There's two hitting Kev. Two hitting Kev. <laughs> He's been double teamed. Oh, uh, I'm not in a good way. No. I can yeah. only do it on one of them. Uh, I'll do Panache against whichever one. What do you want to go for? The one that hit him first or the one that hit him second? The one that hit him last, yeah. Oh, the one that hit um, him most recently. Okay. The one who's still got blood on the sword. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the warmest. And He's I'll still go. got the sword in Kef. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I'll go, uh, I'm the one you want. Leave him alone. He, he's okay. just a bystander, <laughs> just dressed in a costume. I'm the one you want. Well, you are actually still dressed as the turtle. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Come after me. Come on. I'm a it's Millicent a bystander. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Derek Normalbeard. <laughs> and I would like to make a persuasion check against their insight. Please. Okay. Um, insight check, you say. Insight check for me. Inside yes. check for them again. Loose thief. Okay. This very bad. Uh, that'll be an eighteen. You do a nineteen. Whoa! Because I rolled a seven, but with my Didn't reliable really. talent, yeah, three yeah, yeah. as a ten, uh, and my persuasion is plus nine. Nice. He has disadvantage on all of his attack rolls against anybody but me. Uh huh. Um, oh, okay. He cannot make opportunity attacks against other people. Okay. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's gonna be very um, that's gonna be very handy for you to disengage, <laughs> sharpish. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. Uh, yeah. And then I am going to. Use my bonus action to transform into a direwolf. Yep. Okay. And, and then I'm going to use my action to dash. Yep. A hundred feet. Where? Past me? Yeah. Oh, okay. The direction You're, you're, you're physically yeah. running away. Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. When... You didn't let, you didn't let Bill Actually, have I don't want to use my action to dash. I just want to move 50 feet. Uh, and stand in front of or around Jeff, basically. How how far did you move, 30, Jeff? 30, 30, 30 feet. feet. I'm going to go and try and protect you. <gasps> you didn't let Bill have a go. Fuck no. Fuck no. Retcon, please. Um, I'm going to use the direwolf. I'm going to dive on the other guy. Um, and because um, the direwolf gets a thing called pack tactics, yep. and Keth is within five feet he of certainly him, is. I will get advantage on an attack roll Do it. Um, against him. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm going to use my bite, which is a plus five to hit. Um, which is 2d6 plus 3 piercing damage, um, which is a 20 not nat to hit. Uh, yeah, I mean, a, a 20 hits. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, which is 2d6 uh, plus 3, um, 2d6, uh, which is 10 points of piercing, 13 points of piercing damage, not magical. Oh, it is magical because of, of my primal instinct thing yeah. so it's yeah. 13 points of magical piercing damage I need you to make a DC 13 strength saving throw please okay it's me you've come prepared yeah hence why I was like fucking please let me wreck on this uh, strength like, you say strength saving throw DC 13 uh, that would be a 21 <sighs> fine though yeah go you mean you done good sorry yeah. remind me of the damage there 13 13 okay. did we do a ruling if I get my sneak attack in B, B shape? I uh, know, because you're not a rogue, really, at that point. <laughs> Still roguish. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. You are very much Anne Wolf. Anne Wolf, and I'm using <laughs> Anne stats of Anne Wolf. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> cool. Oh. Uh, Keth? Would you like to bloodily stagger away? Hmm. Was, um, well, I've just seen the wolf. Made me think wolf, but then I'm not really in any position to get near anybody. Um, it is time to stagger away. Okay. Um, but I'm gonna. Is use... it night time? It is definitely night time. Yeah, but I don't want to start getting 
start wading in with these guys who yeah. just smash Keth up. I'm yeah, in no yeah, position to fight, otherwise I'll just fall to the floor and die. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. It's time for a stagger away, but I'm going to use a bonus action to dash. Uh, oh, are you sure that's what you want to do? Well, you... One of them yeah. will get opportunity. One of them. One, I one thought of both of them did. No. One of them is still within melee uh, range of you. I was trying to knock the other guy prone so that yeah. he wouldn't, but he still will. Yeah. Right, so, so I'll get an opportunity attack from one of them, but nice. not the other. Yeah. Or you can choose to use your action to disengage. Oh, yeah. And then I could then move away. still move. Yeah. 35 yeah. feet. Yeah. Which is exactly and then you've got a bonus that's what you'd like to do. And you still have a bonus action yeah, if there's something you can do as a bonus action. Like, I don't know. Shoot. Okay. Attempt to heal yourself, uh, shoot. Good mm. berries. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so, yes, I will disengage using my action. Okay. Then I'll move 35 feet away, probably in pursuit of where Jeff went. Because you went down the side street, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, so you're probably about off. five foot just past me. In, in that direction. Oh, no, and yeah. then um, when this loads... I am going to do a, hmm, because not very well, third level cure wounds on myself. Good idea. Can you do that as a bonus action? Oh, this is true. I don't know if you can cast magic. I don't know. Well, I mean, you can sometimes cast spells as bonus actions, but it I can. I can, but not that one, actually. Good point. Yep. I can do... Good berries. No, I don't have them. Don't, I've unlearned it. Yeah. Because oh. I've got cure wounds. And there was a little bit of controversy. <laughs> I don't know if <laughs> I you remember what the size they were. Blueberry incident. <laughs> Let, but let's not get bogged down in who, gate. <laughs> in, in who thought that a hand fruit was the size of a grape. <laughs> <laughs> I could still do like a parting shot. I could do a parting shot. Yeah, you feel free. Yeah, because, oh, yeah, disengage, stag a 35 leave feet. Him, leave him a gift. Money maker. And then once I'm 35 feet away, uh -huh. money maker? Take a parting shot oh, okay. with uh, Brittany. All right. Okay. Roll to hit them, my man. Yeah, that hits. I rolled a 16 and I get plus 15. So that's 13. I mean, it, it doesn't not hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's one, five, six piercing and four fires. Uh, six piercing and four fires. There's another 10. <laughs> um, He's very nearly not in triple figures. And then is that a different enemy to the one I first shot at? No, that's, that's the same one. Oh, so I can't use favoured. No, no, that is favoured enemy. I could use another D6 then. Yeah, go for it. Have one more. <laughs> I will. <laughs> As Keth runs off and staggering, holding his probably his stomach. Yeah, most of his insides are sort of on the outside right there's now. There's a lot of blood. Yeah. You, you can see where he's gone. You can definitely tell where he's gone. What about <laughs> Bill? What's Bill want to do? Bill has obviously seeing all this katana stuff yep. and being a bit sleepy on the first exit, <laughs> on the first round, yep. has now gone into midair. Yep. And he's going to strike um, with his bite. Okay, go. On who? Uh, the the guard that Keth just shot at. It's a smart idea. It is a smart idea. Yep. Um, 17. A 17 does not hit. Oh, no. So oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> So Bill whizzes past. <laughs> but because he doesn't get opportunity to act because he has flyby. Um, so he just whizzes past him and then follows Kef. <laughs> Bloody hell, Bill. But to be fair, he rolled very well. He rolled extremely well. 17. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good attempt. Really good attempt. Very good attempt. But... <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Bill. Um, he did well, though. I'm proud he did a 17, but still... Uh, cool. <laughs> um, that guard is going to... Uh, well, he's going to be quite... Uh, he's he's currently sort of engaged in combat with... Um, a giant wolf. A big old wolf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and Wolfs. while a staggering, almost dead half orc feels like easy pickings, I think he's going to... I think it's reasonable. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think we can all say it was reasonable for him to go, I'll deal with that in a minute. I'm going to He's deal with a slightly more pressing issue of a giant ass wolf <laughs> mauling my comrade. He's not fair. That half orc isn't going anywhere fast. He's not, going, he's not getting very far, is he? No. <laughs> oh, we've got an extra five feet. It's unusual in half orcs. <laughs> Jeff's bigger than you, so you can't take him through no, damage. I'm not saying you will. So, <laughs> oh, oh, um, so he's going to go on ahead and uh, attack, said uh, wolf. Um. 
I'm just going to go ahead and roll all four of these in one go. Right. Derek! You're getting slashed. Yep, that's fine. Cool. Uh, just check with these for me. I'm at uh, 29. Yep. Oh. Uh, what else we got? A 16. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, what's this one? 28. And, yes. Uh, 25. Yep. All of those hit. All cool. That's many D6s coming your way. That's fine. Uh, that'll be a... Uh, 18. Yep. Accounting. Can you just keep a tally of that? I just On it. Very 17. Something up. Um, 15. Let me know accounting as soon as that gets more than 37. It's, it's more 20. than 37. Okay. <laughs> it's currently 77. Can you just hold uh, so 20 was that? Yeah, second. 70 total. Seventy-seven. Where are you getting seventy-seven from? No, seventy. You said it was twenty, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, seven, uh, yeah, seven zero. Oh, I was going to say seventy-seven. I'm yeah. like, where are we getting this extra seven points from? <laughs> uh, beast. Is, so, what? How many points? Seventy. Seven zero. Seven zero. Mm -hmm. Fucking yeah. hell. So, uh, seven zero minus thirty-seven. Uh, that would make it thirty-four. 34. Uh, Thirty-three. Sorry. So, beast minus. shape ends. Yep. Wild shape ends. And I take 33. Yeah, yeah. Three damage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm almost dead. I'm on well, the good news 70 is HP. 70? <laughs> yeah, 7 zero. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, um, another attack ago. like that will kill me. <laughs> That's still more than I have yeah. total. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one can't action surge, so there is that. Excellent. Used it. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's the other one's go, though. Uh, the, the one with the hood. And all the magic and things. Yay! Oh no. Yeah. Uh, oh no, because I'm not. Yeah, I wasn't. But I can't, yeah, no, that's fine. Cool. Um, so I'm gonna prepare myself for this one. <coughs> I don't know where the toss cobble is, but I feel like uh, over by the front of the shop. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but given that the toss cobble's not done anything yet. Mm. Um, really? Apart well, he did hit one of the guys with a hand, I guess. So maybe the toss cobble's going to take this. Toss cobble. Yes. Um, All the glasses. On I'm going to say a word, and I'm going to see if something ha happens. Um, uh, Eldritch blast. Counts. I thought you might say that. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Let me choose this level. Hold on. Okay. Ninth. Oh, okay. An unnecessary level to choose. Fine. But fine. Eight. <laughs> it's fine. You can do that if you want. No, I'll go eight. All right, then. Cool. You you do that against this cantrip. Sorry, I'm confused. Why are we you using an eighth level spell? Why are you using an eighth level... I mean, Eldritch Blast is a cantrip. What? I mean, you can do that. I've never used... Fucking yeah, it's just it's unnecessary. All right, then. it's a cantrip. Yeah, you just use a third level or whatever a normal. Just level you choose your lowest level. level counter spell. Okay, six isn't it? Is that counter spell? Uh, counter third. Spell is a six level. Third, third yeah, third, third level. level. Third level counter spell. Cool, yes. that's fine. As a bonus action, I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast. <laughs> 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 just saying. Cast one. You only got one. No. <sighs> No, you've got two, haven't you? No, I've got... I, uh, I, could, I could go count spell for days, mate. <laughs> <Is that weird? laughs> I'll just take it. <laughs> you're going to take an Eldritch Blast in? Is it like 3D? Yeah. It's, uh, it's huge. 3D it's, 10 it's, necrotic damage it's, or some shit. It's 3D 10 plus, plus 8 times uh, 4. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can just counter spell it. Yeah, I was going to say, when you hear Eldritch Blast, you counter spell it. It's high kind of level. You get four bolts of it. Yeah. Uh, seriously, it's three D ten per box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I thought it was one D ten. No, no, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking. Yeah, it's also got counter. It's yeah. also got agonizing blast. Oh yeah. Okay. That's right. why I spell sniper. I was really tempted Fast. by doing yeah, that because he's using Elder's blast. Friggin' scary. But I'm glad he's done it. Count spell. That's fair. That's what I'm hoping. That's a wise choice. Mm. <laughs> three targets, three people. Elder's blast it. Come on. <laughs> you totally got this, Milo. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, he's basically out of actions at that point. So okay, um, well. next up is Milo's go. 
Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> I hear Eldritch Blast is quite good. Yeah. Uh, Eldritch Blast. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to burn my last counter spell at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That opens the door for Jeff, though. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now it's the case of do I attack him? Do I heal him and you? Or do I make us run? Like, there's too many options for Jeff I to do now. Run. Run is the primary. Mm -hmm. Run is the primary objective. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh if we fight uh -huh. any more. We'll all be dead in the street. Depends where everyone's fucked off to, because if you've all gone without, out of 30 foot range, anyone who's more than 30 foot away from me ain't getting, ain't getting on this train. I mean, they are all out of 30 feet of range of you. Oh, he's not. He's right next to me. Oh. Keth will be within range of you. Okay, yeah. Derek definitely isn't. Okay. And Milo isn't. Why is Derek? No. Because Derek's 15 feet per, foot further away. He's 45 feet from you. Okay, that's fine. How okay. many feet am I away I can get from? there. 35 feet. On my turn, I can get there easily. On my 35 feet. Mm-hmm. I can get there easily on my turn. Yeah, this might go any now. Movement? Is it? Yeah. So, hey, it's, can it's, you do anything with I mean, your of course you have to movement. extend the range? Of it? Then no. I'm going to move closer to Jeff. I, I would recommend it if you're planning to <laughs> run away. Yeah. Yeah. I'll move closer to as close as I can. I mean, it's Jeff. almost. I mean, if you if you you can do that if you want. Yeah. If there was like maybe a building you could hide in, that might be useful as well. But you know, full of magic. Um, just <laughs> full of magical components. <laughs> That's what you were told. Um, God. Just, yeah, I would guess he's a little bewildered because he just got smashed to bits. <laughs> it, it, did, it did quite heavily get yeah, smashed to bits. Yeah. Very quickly. It's like, yeah, oh, okay, I'm out of this fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm out of this fight for now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not good. And I've got a, an annoyed, but still not particularly effective flying snake as top cover. <laughs> Milo, you moving, yeah? Yep. Cool. Um... Interesting. Mm hmm. What's happening next? Something strange is going on. Yeah. You remember that one that did that? Uh, the the blood, blood, the blood yeah, in front device. of Keth. No, no, the 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 the. the uh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, so they happened in front of Keth. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. He's gonna take. He's gonna take an extra attack. How? He did some weird shit. Oh, yes. like yeah. Summon an extra attack. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Okay. Oh no no no. No no no. Okay. Yeah. He's he's gonna charge you down. How far away is he from me? Well, you, 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 he was within range of he was within melee range of you when you ran away, and he has the same speed as you. Thirty five. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> he is <laughs> oh, fast no. as fuck. And I was like, <laughs> I was thinking, oh maybe I'll be like, ah, you gotta get me. <laughs> yeah. Also. Just so you know, you don't have to be next to someone to hit them. It's within five feet. Yeah. I know, I know. So he could easily catch you, even if he ran, even if he ran what, 30 feet. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So it's going to be fun. <laughs> for him. For him, yeah. It's going to be short for cast. It's time for, oh, was it Relentless Endurance? Yeah. That's what I've got. <laughs> yeah. I get you one for long rest and it revives me, basically. It's a, it's a feature. Oh, yeah. Is, is this magic? No. This is magical thing he's doing. I should have transformed It's not a spell. No, he's charging You can't counterspell it. He's charging it down. Just checking, because you did the whole yeah. thing. Uh, just prepared a, he prepared a very exciting action. Oh, okay. Cool. cool. Even I You have can't counterspell counter everything. Of some sort. <laughs> this is new. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just testing the water. <laughs> Even I can counterspell of some sort. And in fairness, if, if any time to test the water is when you know your badger is about to get to zero. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a good... It's, <laughs> That's fair. It's a strong strategy. I'll yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a very <laughs> strong strategy. Now... Come on then. The figure's gonna charge towards you. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> Kath can hear it. Yeah. And the sword is cutting through the air. Death turns. <laughs> Buckler in hand. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna take a big, big <laughs> swipe. And where's it to hit? So that's plus 14 to hit. Motherfucker. I knew so it was high. Unnatural mm. 20. Oh. 22. Shit. That's a 31. And that is a 28. That does hit. Yeah, all of those are going to hit, aren't they? And mm. as the sword comes sweeping down towards you. Oh, no. It doesn't make contact with you. <laughs> The pain doesn't come. The pain doesn't come. What? 
the fuck? Mm hmm. The pain doesn't land, and I think I know why. Can you open your eyes? Bleary through the pain and the organs outside your body. Ugh. And the new perforated torso. <clears throat> My ruined suit. Your total costume is terrible. Never. It's basically red now. Mm. And Kath is still frozen. And you see, frozen in this moment. Your friend, William Snakespear. Mm hmm. What? Oh, Bill. Oh, oh Bill. Shit. Yeah, I know what's happened here. When Bill flew off. He obviously saw what was going to happen. And then he flew down and took the hit. No. Yeah. And then Bill Straight. flies down and he takes the hit. Jesus. And then does that in that moment everything sort of stops. Got me and Chip crying. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on the verge. And Bill can't take those sorts of hits. No, not by any chance. No. But this is this is this is this is a very special moment because um, when everything stops and freezes, it's just Bill and Keth left there. Mm. All the action is gone. The blood, the sweat, the fear—it's all gone. And it's just when Bill is back on Keth's arm. He's still there. And Keth looks at Bill, these little beady eyes, and Bill looks back at him. And you know when you get that moment where you have that awful moment where you have to say goodbye to an animal friend? It's that moment. And you remember all the good times that you've had. And you remember all those funny little amazing moments that only you and your your little buddy have had. But you both know that now is the goodbye time. This this is it. And you just hope that it wasn't too bad and you hope that it wasn't too painful. And this is where Bill starts to slip away. But it's not all bad. Because although Keth, the tears are running down his cheeks and he's trying to blink them away, Bill, instead of fading upwards in a way that you would think, he starts to sink into Keth's arm. And then that's the last thing that Keth sees as he's closing his eyes, because he doesn't want to accept this anymore, that his little friend who he found at that bottom of that ship and looked after the egg and hatched and he looked after it and he trained him. All the adventures he'd been through and he didn't want to face it anymore. And, he, and then reality starts to sink back in. The noises come back in. The pain comes back into Keth's body. And although physical, Bill has gone. He looks down at his arm and there's a tattoo. Markings. Still in the same markings as Bill, all the way down Keth's arm. Keth feels something different, something strange. His arm feels different now. It's almost as if you, could, if you looked at it, that tattoo could almost move by itself. Because although physical Bill is gone, primal Bill is here. And Keth 
stands. Invigorated. Your wounds, they begin to heal. Your entrails, well, return to their proper places. And Keth raises himself up, standing, seeing this new marking on his arm. Hit points restored. <clears throat> yeah. More powerful than ever before. Yes. And you yes. stare into the face of the man that took Bill from you. And you say, I hope you're ready. Face guards with sabers dark and grim, Derek turning old, dire and slim. Cat nearly beaten, found strength in his arm. With primal bills spurred, he raised the alarm. Milo's Bigsby's arm did punch and shove, while Jeff's scatter spells sought guidance from above. Blood sacrifices and eldritch blasts in the fray, as the royal guards tried to make them pay. But with counters and strikes, they held their ground, yet in the shadows more foes were there to be found. Will they conquer or be trapped in this urban dystopia? Well, I guess you'll find out next time on Real Britannia! Your foot knocks against something under the needy water. Oh, okay. grab the item. It is a large ostrich-sized egg. Inside, you can feel movement. I need to bring it somewhere warm. I'm going to bring it into the folds of my cloak. Keth is going to have a quick peek inside his cloak. Look at that egg as it's slightly wiggling and just give a wry smile. What is in it? At that moment, the egg actually cracks. <gasps> a spider web of fractures across the egg. And there, in the palm of your mighty, mighty half-orc hand, is a multicoloured, bewinged serpent. Spot a dragon. There's not enough room for you and my snake. There were enough bunks for all of you, but... One of them is now a terrarium. Don't touch him so, yet. Um... He's biting. Still, he is venomous. He's extraordinarily cranky. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Can we just... Let's have a moment. No one else needs to die. Okay. We'll lower our weapons at the same time. One, two, three. Bill just comes <gasps> streaking in. <laughs> Bill Snake's beer has poisoned him. Okay. The little guy's come good. Keth has been subjecting himself to a ruthless training with Bill. It's an improvement. See, this is a montage, Will. <laughs> Still a long way to go, buddy. Still a long way to go. <laughs> Bill's going to see all this happening. Slightly confused about it, but he's just going to go and swoop down. He's going to try and bite the table. Bill sticks to the table. Furiously hissing. <laughs> Apocalyptically cross. <laughs> it's so angry. <laughs> That's going to make a very satisfying peeling noise when you can get him off. Phil Snakespear understands that <laughs> if you want to go faster, you need to be lighter. So it's times to start jettisoning things. Gold pieces, <laughs> valuable jewels. Couldn't he start with cutlery? What an uh, old prick. No, no. Bill has managed to throw over, throw overboard some incredibly valuable items. 30,701 gold. No, no, no. I'm going to fucking kill that <laughs> snake. That fucking <laughs> snake. That Just turns kill. back and goes... Snake, uh, <laughs> You're like, oh, my God, how impressive is Another this guy? Another Icosamon. Hey, I was admiring what Bill was doing up there. Look at him go. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is quite impressive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah look, they've put out food for the animals as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I went to Bill, though. He'll be... He, he, yeah, he can't eat gluten. He looks like a draft excluder. <laughs> it will help out Keth to lob a rope down so the lads can scramble. Look, he can take one end of the rope in his jaws. It's like a snake. He gets the rope there. He sort of drops it on, he the, misses. on the platform. And it's a bit slobbery in one end. Good enough yeah. for me. Okay. Good boy, good boy. Bill's a good lad. He's a little dip, but he seems to be. His heart's in the right place. Mostly. Yeah. I mean, he tries very, right. very hard. He does, yeah. But well, have another go, have another go. Oh, and there's that. just going to be like, imagine you are him. Like, make, I not make it. love to him. <laughs> no, not in him. Him. Imagine oh, you are him. Oh. I told you about that. That's not how you make friends. Oh, I'm a snake. You've got to be the snake. You've got to be the Albert. I hate peace accords. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. See, look at how he's moving now. You're in tune with him. Da, 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 da. Well, I've got one of these. What is it? Well, this guy's helped me out through a lot of situations. He's very, very angry. 
very loyal yeah. fly. He can bite and he hates peace. His name, William Snakespeare. Sports Social Podcast Network.